Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Feed My Sheep, Earth Quick Reports and more. I'm Terry Rempel. It's the 24th of September and I've been away for a while because I had some major oral surgery done and uh, the swelling's down enough and we've got some important information to share. Um, so we're back on. It's a little bit late that we're coming on but uh, it's important that this information get out to everybody. Um, so we've had a Big jump in activity, as you can see, for Mount uh, Mount Shasta, Mount Lassen area, and this involves the cat or the uh, Sierra Nevadas having increased volcanic activity as well. So we're going to get into this uh, shortly. Before we begin, all of our programs are dedicated to our Heavenly Father service, and we'll start with a prayer. Please join me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your protection of this program, of your children, the grace that you provide for our families as well. And we pray that a great many, the maximum possible, are, are shaken to an awakeness um, of the love that you have for all of humanity and the salvation you provided through your son, Jesus. And Jesus, you played the major role in this um, your great sacrifice for us, well established in history. We are ever so grateful and we thank you, Holy Spirit, also for the understanding you bring. And Jesus, we ask that you lead us through this program. And Father, take all the glory for it. In your name, Jesus, amen. And so we're looking at the, uh, the major activity going on. We can see the scale. This is the... Uh, Last position on the volcanic warning scale, we've moved up three notches um, with this activity. And it's so large that they've shut down, Northern California shut down all the applicable sites. I happened to capture them um, midday today, earlier today, and uh, before they were all blanked off. So I, apparently uh, it seems that nobody is supposed to be aware of what's going on. The agencies have blanked out uh, all of the sites in the NorCal, um, in the uh, Mount Lassen and uh, Mount Shasta area. So there's no data showing now. So fortunately I've saved all of that. So that's what we're going to go through because it's a big jump. There's about a 10 times increase in activity in Northern California. And that's, that's a big deal. That's not a 10 times increase in a day. That's, uh, that's occurred uh, over the past month. So let's have a look at that. Let's see, we click there and there we are. So back on the 22nd of August, this was normal daily activity. Okay, and this continued up until the 14th. Now, on the 16th, we recorded this activity on the west side of Mount Lassen. This is a very significant increase in activity on the west side. A lot of uplift fracturing, flank fracturing on the side of the mountain, Mount Lassen. Um, and this was north Mount Shasta on the 14th. So this is the day when it increased, because I look at Mount Shasta activity every day. And uh, this was the increase on the 14th. So the jump in activity, I didn't have it recorded as different. I had to go back to the 22nd to get a, just a normal daily recording. And that's, that's it here. So this was the increase on the 14th. And that's a big increase in the amount of activity that we have there. Come on, click back. There we go. So instead of having four or five of these major pulse signals, we went to having activity on uh, almost every line throughout the page. And that's a big jump. Because this is a very turned down site. Um, when I first started watching this, this activity here, these, um, these magma pulse signals, that's what these are, magma pulse signals, they were as large as Palm Bay Beach signals are. These were from here to here. So they're, they're only showing at about 10%. Um, and maybe even less than 10% of true activity. This is a, You don't see any activity on the baseline of this, so it's very turned down. And this 
you can see that there's a little bit of steam release type signals up here. That's not pulsed magma signals, that's tremors. And I believe these are tremors of steam release, but I can't tell for sure because the, uh, the size is too small. So here we have a lot more activity on the 14th. This is Mount Shasta on the 16th. So continuing to have fairly large activity on the 16th. And along with this, we've had a major, a slow increase in shoreline tremors um, building since the Ferndale south, the uh, magnitude 7.5, I think it was, um, on the 20th of December of 2022. Um, and uh, that was a 7.0, I believe, uh, subduction earthquake and tr shoreline tremors have built ever since then especially in the petrolia area so this is one of those areas near petrolia that's and this is the uh, activity on the 14th so much shoreline tremors and what what's causing the shoreline tremors is subduction this is north of the mendocino and this isn't the san andreas this is subduction tremors north of the mendocino um, that's the only thing that the only fault there that can be moving. There's no other fault there, um, and this carries on inland as well at multiple sites across to uh, Mount Shasta and Mount Lassen. And this is on the 21st, uh, same site, uh, not quite as active. This is another site near Petrolia on the 21st. And this is uh, this site is not over amplitude. You can see the baseline drops right down here. So a lot of activity periodically, heavy amounts of movement of subduction, subduction creep, and that's feeding the volcanoes. And that's why the volcanoes are becoming more active. And that's why I'm showing you the shoreline activity. It's only because of the subduction movement that you're getting infill at the volcanoes. And as this speeds up, and this is a greatly accelerated amount of tremors for this site, as this speeds up, it feeds greater and greater amounts of magma into the volcanoes and they become more active. And that's why we're seeing this increase. This is near Redding on the 21st. So we're right close to Redding and seeing this level of activity. That's a lot of magma movement there. And the tremors are heavy uh, east of Bella Vista on the 21st as well. So there's a lot of activity building in Northern California. This is Mount Lassen North, the north end of Mount Lassen near Somerville. Uh, also greatly increased activity. There's some large fracture signals as well as some uh, small earthquakes and a lot of small tremors. It's a lot of magma to create that much movement. Now, this activity carries all the way across the east through it. It's all lava beds and uh, old lava flows to the east side of Mount Shasta and Mount Lassa, all the way to, into Nevada. Um, so this, is, this carries on through multiple sites to Honey Lake on the east side. This is the east side of Honey Lake, and it's been busier than this as well. So that's a lot of activity. It's not just Lake Almanor that's been busy with clustered earthquakes and uh, other other activity, um, but uh, all the way to uh, Honey Lake and and north of Mount Shasta as well. Um, on the twenty first, we noticed uh, on the twenty first an increase in activity at Black Butte. Now Black Butte is another turn down site. They turned it down a whole bunch from what it used to be. And uh, now we're seeing that the activity is large enough to register significantly again. So that's what we're seeing here. This is a lot of activity. This is magma-related activity at Black Butte, which is part of the Mount Shasta volcano. It sits right over top of the magma chamber. And this is uh, the corresponding activity jump at North Mount Shasta. So this is, this is a big jump. Oh, big jump on the 21st. I mean, look look at the comparable here. This is where we were at. We were at this level, and this we were at this level for over six months. And now it's just tying in with the shoreline tremors. Now it's jumped up to this. 
That's the same site. And north of Mount Shasta, we're west of Mount Hebron now. So this activity carries on a long ways north as well. That's got to be 40, 50 miles north. I didn't measure it today. I don't remember what it was, but it's something like that. And uh, this is uh, east, southeast of Mount Shasta today. Now, this is a greatly turned down site. This is the uh, Hambone location. And uh, they turned down this site months ago. It used to show a lot more activity. But again, the activity has climbed in size to where it shows on this. This, this uh, site is probably set at about 5% of true. And the activity is getting through. And a large amount of activity, you can see it all through the day was getting through and it was getting through so much today that they shut down all the sites around Mount Shasta and around Mount Lass and all the volcanic uh, related sites just about every one of them shut off now uh, I think the activity got high enough they didn't want the public to see it I happened to capture it and that's why you're seeing it here you go look at these sites right now and all of these are blank this is a blank page this is a blank page this is a blank page. There's nothing there. There's nothing to look at right now. So all these sites, <laughs> sites are shut down. Uh, this is from the south flank of Mount Shasta, and this site is usually dead quiet. There's usually nothing on it. And here we're seeing probable steam release signals in green, red, and black here. Long period uh, steam signals. They're all about the same size. And then tremors throughout the page. So that's, uh, that's notable that we, on a site that's usually showing nothing, we have this much activity. And here we're, um, again, at the uh, Black Butte site and really flaring up hard. Down at the bottom here, look at how much this is growing down at the bottom. Again, this is, um, this is a greatly turned down site and it's suddenly becoming very, very active. And I think this is part of why they shut this site down. You can't see this activity right now. You go to this uh, seismogram, public access seismogram site, and you can't find it. It's, it's a blank page. All of these sites got turned off. So they're, they're trying, as far as I'm concerned, they're trying to hide the activity and they're making themselves look like fools doing it. Here we are at North Mount Shasta, um, again showing that very significant activity. Here's the normal activity right here. This is about what you get normally, and this here. And this, this site set at about 5%, and it's showing all of this activity, including steam, again, being released here, and steam through here and long periods of steam release up here. So this is very, very significant. This is a big, big jump in activity at Mount Shasta. And again, compare this to daily activity back on the 22nd of August. Nothing on the baseline through here. Just these large pulsed magma signals and the odd steam release signal like this, if those are in fact steam release signals. And this is from north of Mount Shasta, west of Mount Hebron. Lots of small earthquakes. A big, earth, long earthquake fracture series um, fault shift up top. North of Mount Shasta. And lots of magma inbuilt associated with all this fracturing. So this is probably as much uplift fracturing as it is because we've got the associated magma infill. And now, now we're going into the Sierra Nevadas because of the increase in volcanic activity in the Sierra Nevadas. And nobody's reporting on this, and it's important that uh, this information gets out to you guys as well. Uh, the volcanic activity is supposed to stop at Mount Lassen, according to the experts. Everything else is uh, extinct. Well, it's not extinct because um, here's a, a this this site um, is east or west of Central Lake Tahoe, west of Central Lake Tahoe, and this site had been super active where. Um, it, it was set over amplitude. Now it's set under amplitude. They reset the amplitude on the site. And now there are times when you see nothing on the baseline. So you've got one little tremor there. You've got one little blip there. You know this one's set under amplitude now. And yet look at the activity. And you don't get this much 
um, tremor activity from fault shifts. This is magma. This is magma in um, the east central Sierra Nevadas, west of Lake, west of central Lake Tahoe is where this site is, and it's a volcanic butte. Um, and this is the most current activity. I put this on just before we went on the air. So the most current activity here. So that's the bunk site. Very, very active. Now we're heading south. We're actually south of the uh, south end of Lake Tahoe now. And still in the eastern Sierra Nevadas. And this is also magma activity at a very, very turned down site. So this is a lot of activity in the central Sierra Nevadas. This carries on south. And we're going over a little more to the uh, west side. This is uh, near Placerville, and another very, very turned down site. And this shows activity all through the day also. It doesn't look like a lot, but if you've got a site that is not set up to receive the activity or display, rather, display the activity well, this is what you get. So it's a low amplitude setting site, but it's showing a lot of activity through the whole day. If we head south, we see a little bit more of the activity, even though the site is very turned down. Nothing on the baseline here. So this site is very turned down, but it's busy all day long. So we're south of Sacramento now, in the Sierra Nevadas. We're about at the uh, level of Stockton. So this shows that the Sierra Nevadas are volcanically active um, all the way from Mount Lassen, all the way down to uh, south of Sacramento, um, about the latitude of Stockton. So that's very signif significant. Uh, the activity that we've been showing, that shoreline activity south of the Mendocino Ridge, south of uh, Petrolia, um, is resulting in magma activity in the Sierra Nevadas. And that proves that it is subduction activity that we're seeing um, along the coast, where, where California is not supposed to subduct south of the Mendocino Ridge, but it is, and this is absolutely proving that that's the case. So we're seeing volcanic reactivation of the Sierra Nevadas because of subduction, and that is going to add California into the subduction process of the Great Cascade earthquake when it occurs, and that extends the length of it, and this is what we've been explaining. All right, so this is, uh, this is very important to be aware. We've had a jump in activity. We're not seeing an imminent eruption coming up, but it has, um, it has changed our earthquake scale. Uh, raised it up. Let's see, where is that? I'm not sure how to get back to that. Anyway, um, I'll become more proficient with this system as it, uh, as, as we go forward, but, um, our earth, our volcanic scale, we've uh, raised it up three points. That's a significant jump in a fairly short amount of time. Um, we've already moved it up, uh, I think, six points since uh, since we started a month and a half or two and a half months ago, something like that. So uh, I hope you appreciate uh, this information. Um, and uh, again. This is, this is not about having fear, it's about being aware of what's going on so that you can um, take appropriate action. Um, this is something you all need to pray about if it's uh, go going to affect you directly or indirectly. Um, and see what God's purpose for your life is regarding this, um, whether you're supposed to be just preparing in place, whether you're going to... Uh, set up alternative uh, preparations, whatever it is. Um, everybody's in a different situation and you all have to adapt um, to the need as you're able to. And uh, so go with God's blessing. Um, we're all in his hands under his wings. And uh, we'll see you next time on Feed My Sheep, Earthquake Reports and more. Bye for now.